All right, this is what I want you to do. I want you to go below and subscribe to the new channel and watch the current video. Today, we're gonna to talk about being successful in, in life. And this is one of the things that I've been really, really thinking about quite a bit. Um, Cause like, this is what's going on. I'm running some ads and I have a lot of people who, how, how can I say this? How can I say this? You know, the ad is for the business credit course. And I have people with 591, 540, 630 credit scores who are messaging me. And literally, this is one of the things, we're, we're getting ready to redo this whole situation because when I was in the position, you know, years and years ago when my credit wasn't that good, I would never go apply for a car or credit card or anything because I knew what would happen. But for some reason, you have people who are in a position with low credit scores that kind of think that someone's going to give them a lot of money with a low credit score and no income, no ability to pay their bills. And one of the things that I've been looking at is it, it got me to thinking, it got me really, really to thinking. And this is one of the things I've talked about on this channel a long, long time ago. Uh, to be successful, you gotta do the work. And Lidvell Williams, I had this video up here before I took it down. I'll explain why I took those videos down. Um, talked about going to work, working hard, working multiple hours a day to get to a certain income level, which is one of the things you have to do. And what I am seeing is a bunch of people who just don't want to do any work. Everyone seems to think there is some kind of hookup. There's some kind of blessing that's going to happen to you, even though you cannot manage your personal finances. You know, years, you know, a while ago, I was giving away the personal finance course, and this is one of the reasons I stopped giving it away. Uh, people started playing games. Like, here I am trying to help people out. People started playing games. And one of the things that I have learned, and this is something that came from, um, you know, this actually happened today. Um, someone that I gave a free course to, and I actually went and looked, and they wanted to be removed from the email list, and I took them off the email list. And I went, and they actually signed up for this free course, and they completed 3%, and they have not signed in in not one, not two, but three years. They did 3%, and they never went back to this free course that would have taught them how to make money. And this, this, this right here is just something that is just echoing in me. This is just something that I'm looking at that Right now in 2024, 2024 is not as bad as 2008, 2009, 2010, 2011, 2012, 13. We had what was called the Great Recession. And I've seen people, it's like, we're in the recession, we're in the recession, you know, and the government's lying and the numbers are off. And, you know, first quarter we had positive GDP. The second quarter we had even more positive GDP. And, you know, this is really interesting how many people like, you know, this is something I talked about. Um, the YouTubers who are making all of these, the economy sucks videos, the economy's in doom and gloom. When it's not, and we're in a really strange place in the economy in terms of, I'm going to go ahead and just, say what I feel is the problem. Right now, we have a bunch of people online who are making incredible sums of money as content creators. And literally, a content creator will just come out, grab their camera, turn their camera on themselves, and make a lot of money. And you're seeing so many people who are seeing that, and it's like, hey, I want to do that. I want to turn the camera on myself, entertain people and make a lot of money. So what is happening is um, 
YouTube's being flooded. Instagram's being flooded. TikTok is being flooded. And this is one of the things that I will say, and this is just my opinion, that the majority of the content on TikTok is just dumb. It's just dumb. Like literally, uh, one of the things that will happen is if you have someone's phone number in your phone and they go ahead and put that phone number on TikTok, every time they upload something, you'll get a notification to go to TikTok. And someone that I used to know about three years ago loaded up something. And it was just an image of her face going from a normal face to a cartoon face for about 15 seconds. That was it. That was her TikTok. And I was just sitting there like, okay, 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 okay. This, this is just dumb. And what I'm seeing is that for you <clears throat> to go ahead and build a business and create an economy online, it gets deeper than, you know, just, you know, content creation is a real valid source of income. It really is. If you can go ahead and get into the upper echelons of making that content, you can make a lot of money. And this is what I think everyone is just running to. And this is, you know, kind of, I'm kind of all over the place in this video, but what I think is everyone is looking at content creators. And once again, there's some content creators who make a lot of money and they feel that they can do it. But I got a question when you're sitting at home during football season and you're watching this guy who's like 225 pounds, maybe 5'10 is the running back and he can run a, a 3.840 and he gets out an open field and he takes off and he gets the touchdown. Do you say I can do that? When you see a guy who is six, seven, has amazing ability, he's on the NBA basketball court and he's just, he literally dribbles beyond the guys. Then he gets behind the backboard and do, does an alley-oop and the ball goes into the, the hoop. Do you think you can do that? See, there's a reality that, it, you know, you see these guys who do physical athletic things and you know you can't do those, but you have people online and you think you can do what the people online are doing. And one of the things that I, I, I see is a very large situation of people who think they can do stuff online, you know, like create stuff, go ahead and get and generate people and do things. But the reality is far, far different than the practical application of the situation. And, you know, to be successful, let's go ahead, go back to content creation. Um, you know, you grab a camera, right? And you put the camera on yourself and you make content. I was looking at the content creator. He was a young guy. And he talked about his first times trying to make content and how he wasn't getting views. And it went on for like that for like two years, but he kept trying, he kept trying, he kept trying. Then he figured out some stuff and then he started to get views and he makes a lot of money from getting views. The thing is like, let's just go ahead and kind of go back to what I just said. A content creator who was not getting views when he started he worked at this for two years. So he figured out how to get views. He started making YouTube videos when he was in high school and he just wasn't getting the views. And as he kept on and kept on and kept on, he started getting the views. And you know, that, that, that's the secret to success. Because when life punches you in the face and says, hey, you can't get what you want. Hey, I'm not gonna give it to you. It's not gonna be easy and you just get punched, you get punched, right? You get knocked down, but then you get back up and you continue to fight. Then you get back up and you continue to fight and you get back up and you continue to fight. Because right now, I'm pissed off. I'm just be keeping it 100%. I'm pissed off because one of the things is, just like you guys, I watch the internet. I see what's going on with the internet. And a shout out to the upgrade who put up a video about her 
Toro business failing for many of the reasons that I talked about in the Kill Switch Chronicles. Because one of the things that I got from putting up those videos is a lot of people like, oh, he can't be successful. Even though the business for most people is a hot pile of garbage, it really, really is. And, you know, shout out to Kiki for putting out that video and talking about it because the thing is, in life, you have wins and you have losses. And I came on YouTube and said that was a loss for me. And that's, that's just the way I feel. I, I just feel like that was one of the worst businesses I've ever gotten into in my life. I feel that it's like, oh my God, I, I, I literally sit back and rethink what else I could have did instead of doing that business because it, it was just terrible. It was just terrible. But instead of just staying there in that space where it was terrible, I decided to can push forward and you know a lot of people are really thank me for putting up those videos appreciate the honest truthful stuff like that whole thing when the guy rented my Porsche Cyan and two days later they sold it on Craigslist which literally was a plan from day one they didn't just rent my vehicle That's, oh he's got that for rent we're gonna rent it and we're gonna sell it and they were actually able to sell this video this vi this vi sell this video this vi vehicle there it is sell this vehicle without a title they lied to the guy and say oh we're getting the tower working on it just sell us the bill just give us the money and we will send you a title and he actually went for it and paid them fifteen thousand dollars in cash and then you know the story of the Range Rover which just blows my mind because that girl, she was like, oh, it's at Town Center Mall. I go up to Town Center Mall, can't find it. Then I go, you know, I'm just literally looking for this vehicle. And essentially I filed a stolen vehicle report with the police. And the insurance company, true to their words, they paid me a check. I actually made, I got $2,000 more for this vehicle than what I paid for it. So in some ways it was a win. And then one day I get in the mail that this vehicle is now has been repossessed and they're going to sell it unless I come get it. And I'm just sitting there like, but here's the thing, like when you get paid out from an insurance company for a stolen vehicle and they send you a check, you have to send in the title. So I just walked away. I'm just sitting, I'm just sitting there like this, this is crazy. This whole thing is just crazy. And this, this is the stuff that happened to me in the car rental business. And this is stuff that just after I stopped renting cars, things kept happening. Things kept happening, you know, and it, 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 it was crazy. Right. So one of the things that you have to understand and acknowledge is life is not fair. It's not even close to fair. Life isn't going to be forgiven. And essentially, if you want to be successful, you got to keep taking those punches. You got to keep taking those punches. Um, those punches are not going to stop coming. Those punches are going to continue on. And one of the things that you will see is you must do the things that you need to do to stay in the ring, to stay fighting, to stay up standing up. Because today I watched a guy who put out a really amazing video talking about how he closed the sale because he filmed it and you know his whole outland process and everything and things he did and it was amazing it was really amazing and this video got like put out two days ago and got like 4,000 views and I was like if he had been talking about some trash or some stuff like this uh, he would have got more views because give you an example there was a guy who actually went to a car dealership and they were trying to negotiate for a Hellcat that video got like 15,000 views in a day, but a video that teaches you how to position yourself to be successful in the sales process. He, he left nothing out. He gave you everything. He showed you all of the stuff. This video only gets 4,000 views. If I had filmed a video like that, I probably have like 800 views. And the thing is, you know, people are looking for entertainment more so than they're looking for education and how to do things the proper way. This, this is what people are looking for. This is where people are. This is 
the process of where people tend to be as they go ahead and live this life in the United States of America. But to be successful, you gotta, you, you gotta get back up after you've been punched. You gotta get back up after you've been punched. And this is one of the things that I'm consistently seeing. So once again, this is the process, but go below, watch the video on the new channel, the new Hustles Kung Fu. At some point I'm changing the name of this channel. I haven't gotten it changed, but I will be changing the name of this panel, this channel. And the videos here will be very, very different. Very, very different. So that's all I got to say. I will talk to you guys and I would say go below and at the end of the video, there should be some more videos for you to watch. In time, there will be more videos for you to watch. So that's all I got for you guys. I'll talk to you in the next one.